Okay, so we'll uh, start question two with uh, the test for n equal to one. So let's put n equal to one on the left hand side and we get one plus or, well, or one, which is just one plus or. On the right hand side, uh, I started off here, one minus or to the one plus one, all over one minus or. All right, not looking like it's working at the moment. Let's just take a little sidebar over here. Uh, one minus or squared over one minus or. Uh, one minus or squared, well, that's the difference of two squares and that's crucial to be able to notice this at the start. That's one plus or, one minus or, all over one minus or. So difference of two squares on top here. And that is how we get the first step. So not a very obvious first step, but it does work. So hence it holds for an equal to one. Uh, so now we're going to assume that it works for uh, some k, n equal to k, and k is also going to be an element of all positive integers. Um, uh, so we're just going to rewrite this with k, so 1 plus or plus or squared plus da 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 uh, plus or k, and um, k is the number of times we need to go up, so first one was 1 plus or so the second term one plus or plus or two etc so it's a series and uh, replacing this with k uh, from the question so this is should be an obvious step uh, one minus or okay so that's assumption and that's the inductive step so we now need to prove I don't have a whole pile of room here I might need to go onto a different page uh, but let's look at our proving. So that's uh, getting that next step. Well, let's write it out as, as if we're adding the next bit. So prove for uh, that n is equal to k plus 1. See if that holds. So we've got 1 plus or this is the right hand, or left hand side. Plus da 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 da. Plus, of course, or to the k from uh, when it was k. And the next term we now need. Okay, we need to. Uh, and then we can put in k plus 1 on this side and, hope, and then get the left hand side to equal the right hand side so k plus 1 plus 1 uh, instead of just k plus 1 here and that's still 1 minus or alright so uh, we will work on the left hand side here uh, we are going to use the inductive step straight away uh, this is ready to be written out here so we can we know that this we assumed it here so we could by inductive step we can put this in instead of that and then add on this a little bit extra all right uh, I suppose uh, if I was doing this I would common denominator it uh, and then um, combine terms and hopefully it will look like this bit on the right. So the common denominator would be one minus or, which means this has to be multiplied above and below uh, by one minus or. So everything's gonna be over one minus or. This is gonna be one uh, minus or k plus one, still from here, uh, plus, uh, well, I suppose one minus or times or times k plus one. Okay. Um, now, if I were to multiply that out, I'm running out of a bit of space here, but it's okay. I'm going to multiply this bit out. So uh, both uh, 1 and this has to be multiplied by or k plus 1. Plus uh, 1 times it is plus or k plus 1. Or times it, well, it's minus or times, uh, just put the dot for or k plus 1, I'll come to that in a second, over 1 minus or. Now we have a minus or k plus 1 and a plus or k plus 1, so they're the same terms, so they can go away. Um, now if I can get, we're pretty close to it here, and this is testing our rules of uh, indices. So we have 1 minus or times or k plus 1 over 1 minus or. Now, if I combine 
that's r to the power of 1 times or k plus 1. So I can add that. So if we're timesing and it's the same base, we add the powers. So that adds on and that becomes k plus 2, which is exactly what we wanted. Or k plus 2. And of course, k plus 2 breaks down into k plus 1 plus 1, which we have up here. And hopefully you guys can finish it from there and that's it.